Hello everybody, it's Tracy. All right, you guys, I have a few cards to share with you. I have not made a video in quite a while, but I have been crafting off and on. I lost my mojo for a little bit and then it came back and then it left. And I was just busy with just life and so it just seemed as though I wasn't really crafting a lot, but I actually have been crafting, you know, it just, I don't know. And, um, but I just haven't been making any videos. So anyway, I have a little pile of cards here that I have created over the last month or so. And I thought I would share them with you before I put them away send them off whatever I'm doing with them um yeah I think most of them are probably Halloween cards and if you follow me on Instagram you have probably seen them because I have been posting my cards on Instagram because it's just easier simpler quicker and so anyway so this is the first one. I made this a while back. And I don't think I've made a video. But anyway. This is. That one. And. I used a. CC Designs. Um, sticker. Uh, not sticker. But a stamp that I colored. And. The paper is by American Crafts. Now, since it's been a while since I created these cards, the paper is all put away. So, um, I won't remember all of the paper. So, But if you really, really want to know about the paper, just ask and I will find out and tell you, okay? So, yeah. So, um, yeah, this is a CC Designs stamp. This is an Amy R stamp here for the sentiment. Um, I used some MFT dies to get that stitched look on the pieces. Have some twine here. Pretty flat, simple card. That's the inside. Okay. All right. So the next one is a gate fold card and it goes like this looks like a regular A2 card and let's see I have a CC Designs stamp here as well as an Amy R stamp set I use for the uh, sentiment there okay and it is a gatefold so it opens like that and that's the inside cute fall card. So let's see, next I did these little cards and I believe these cards are about, let me see, four by four. And I made two versions of the same card. Now, the original stamp is this one and I forgot her name but it's CC Designs and so that's what she looks like originally and this is the altered version so I made her some curly hair two little afro puffs okay and again I use Amy R sentiment stamp sets the insides are just pretty plain So that's that. Um, I made some crisscross cards. I was just in the mood. So that's what I did. And this one is using a My Besties stamp. And I forgot the name of the stamp. But it, it's a digital stamp. And, um, that's what I did. So I did the crisscross uh, envelope. 
I used Martha Stewart Punch, um, Recollections Bling here, some lace I had, have some Wild Orchid Craft Flowers. These little spiders are by um, Recollections. Uh, Spellbinders Die with the glitter paper. And that glitter paper is by Recollections. I got it last year. And I think all of this, no, this paper is by um, Graphic 45. I didn't buy the whole collection. I just bought a couple of pieces. And I stickled up the witch. And then here is the inside of the card. Oh, this is made using a Martha Stewart punch. And that's just the inside. Let me turn it around. And there is a more plain surface to write on. But I turned it this way because I just like the way it looks when it's in the envelope. And then here's the back. Finished off the back. Alright, and this is a 6x6 six six crisscross card. Now, the next card is also a crisscross card. And I used a um, greeting farm stamp, and this is Angel Anya. Is she adorable? One of my favorite. See all the glitter, I hope. And so, yeah, I just colored her up, stickled her up, um, cut snowflakes. Most of these snowflakes are from Spellbinders, and some of them are punches. From Martha Stewart. This is an old Inka Jinka Jew stamp that I stamped here. And this paper is by American Crafts. I got it at Tuesday morning. Forgot the name of it though. And then this um, piece here up top, I used a um what is the name of this die cut? It's a die. Oh, and it's by. I think I have it. I think I am in luck. And this is it. It's called Snowflake Arch by. By who? <gasps> Memory Box. Isn't that cool? I thought that was so pretty. So I made the top with that and pull it out. And there's the space to write. And then that's the back. Okay. So that's how that goes. All right. So, another fall card I made. This one is a little bit bigger than an A2. I think it's an A4. And I used this Greeting Farm image, and I forgot the name of her, but she's super cute. One of my favorites. So I decided to just put a fall spin on her and made her have mums. And I used the Night Fall paper by Recollections. These little cutouts came with the paper, put a bow. This is an Amy R. stamp set that I embossed. Got some um, Recollections pumpkins here. And the inside is plain. All right. Oh, and this card was actually featured on a, I think it's called Wow Me Wednesday for the greeting forms. The Greeting Farm, um, they got it off my blog, and they featured it, and I was so excited. So, yeah. That was that. And, what's next? Another fall card. Whoops! Where did this come from? That doesn't belong there. Did it come off of another card? Huh little piece of <laughs> something was on there but anyway so this is my um, 
fall card using CC Design. And I forgot the name of this cute little stamp, but she's one of the newer ones. Isn't she adorable? Amy R. Stamp Set. I embossed that. Um, I used my pierced uh, die from MFT. Not pierced, but stitched right there. Love it. Super cute, simple. Have some um, tool here and ribbon. And plain on the inside. Alrighty. Next is a Halloween card. And this is using, a th oh, I forgot the name of her, but she's a Digi image by um, The Greeting Farm. And the paper is an old My Mind's Eye collection that I just layered. Used Martha Stewart Punch and all of these little embellishments are by Recollections. And I did stickle her hair. Had to add some glitter. Hopefully you can see the glitter. I used Wink of Stella here. Most of the time you don't see it. But I can see it through the camera. Hopefully you can see it when it uploads. Plain on the inside. Of course I would have to put something in there. Once I send it off. Okay. And this one is another Halloween card. And I um, used a My Besties image, Digi image, colored her, stickled, just layered paper. This is also night and fall paper that I used, my recollections. Aim your stamp set, use some little broom embellishments by recollections and the little bats come from an EK success punch just put some bats on her alrighty now the last card is a card that I made for I just wanted to make a card for um, breast cancer awareness month and so I used awareness Anya and this is it and I used a I happen to have since this is the last card I made I have the paper out and so I got it I use this Mambi paper no you know it is making my, me and my big ideas so I used that paper just layered used a um, uh, die I think that's a magnolia die that I used on there the sides some recollections bling I had to add stickled her ribbon this is a, a unity stamp and that's it alrighty so those are my cards that I've done over the last month hope you enjoyed seeing them and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.